A college here in the Piedmont has a new president taking the reins. Starting August 1st, Suzanne Walsh will be the next to lead students at Bennett College and set a plan for the future. And she's here with us right now. Suzanne, thank you so much for coming. Thanks first for having me. Yes, my first interview. Thank you. Thank you for coming here first. We appreciate it. Now, we're just going to jump right into it. Bennett College has obviously had a lot of challenges this year. Um, and so talk to me about, you know, as you're taking over August 1st, what, what's going to be your, your top priority? Well, first of all, really, really excited to be here. What an incredible institution, the history, the students, the faculty, the alumni. So the first thing is for us to just get started. It's the new year, so we're getting ready for the new year. We want to make sure that we're setting the right plans, moving forward to stabilize the institution and also to reimagine and reinvent the institution for the future. So to new president Suzanne Walsh, what does reimagining and reinventing the future look like at Bennett? I think really it's critical to, to make new connections and to have a set of partnerships that will help us to be successful. There is no college in the United States that's able to be successful by itself. So there's no reason that we should think that Bennett should do it by itself. So we're really looking forward to working with the community, working with other organizations to help us to really help young women who aspire to be leaders at this moment in time. So the, you know, the, you talk about partnerships. Now are we talking partnerships as far as fundraising? Are we talking partnerships as far as, you know, helping connect with career resources or, or, or what? It's partnerships all the way around. And I, yes, fundraising is important. As you said, we have things that we need to work on, but there's also some friend raising. And it's really important to be able to connect our students to internships, be able to connect them to the local community in terms of opportunities for uh, entrepreneurship, what we will be talking a lot about is social justice and civil rights. So many of the women who come to our institution are looking to lead. And so we want to make sure that we're making the right connections for them to have those opportunities. So um, what made you apply for this job? I mean, this is your first job at a four-year institution, and you shot straight to the <laughs> top of it. What made you, what made, what, what, what about this job is, did kind of open your eyes or kind of got yeah. you interested? So I've been working with HBCUs for probably about 15 years through a variety of my jobs uh, in foundations, and I love them. I have My godmother went to an HBCU, not, not in North Carolina, but she did go to an HBCU. And my father, who was an academic, had planned to teach actually at an HBCU when he retired from his, his career. So it's been in my blood for a long time, but the work we've been doing has been so exciting. I have seen institutions that are able to transform because they take seriously the importance of working with data and planning. And so I get excited about those who are excited about the future. All right, Suzanne Walsh, new president of Bennett College here with us right now. Good luck to you. Oh my and gosh, may thank you. the future be bright for Bennett. Thank you. Mm -hmm.